Morning! Quick off update. Ooh, would not recommend. No, thank you. Hands up if you've got sheep scab. <sighs> this year has been a bit much, I'm not gonna lie. Just about everything has been thrown at us. Absolutely everything. So what is sheep scab? Basically, it's a mange mite that lives on the sheep. And they have it, it causes them to itch insanely badly. So bad that they actually die from scratching. They stop eating, they die of malnutrition, they lose their fleece, they can get secondary infections where they rub so much. That's why, this, why it's called scab. There's a couple of ways of treating sheep scab. One is through an injection, but the resistance is so high on the injections that it's ridiculous. Often it just dampens it down for a bit and then it breaks out again later on the other way is to plunge dip you put a sheep the sheep in a chemical and water and you and she swims around for a minute and you have to plunge her head under make sure that it's killed all of the the mites on her obviously this is less than ideal we're two weeks away from lambing bought some using we had them at home luckily we haven't moved around them much or we haven't scanned them or done anything like that with them so it's been fairly isolated to home we've had them for a while now they looked a little bit itchy but nothing ridiculous i even had three vets here and they didn't think it was sheep scab and i said look let's do a blood test anyway and find out because I don't want an outbreak of scab during lambing or when we've just lambed and our baby lambs are itching themselves to death. It's a really, really bad thing to get. It's treatable, so it's not the end of the world, but it's not ideal. Anyway, blood test come back positive. So here we are, sheep scab. It's so highly contagious that even bits of wool like this on a fence, if a sheep without scab rubs against that and that has sheep scab on it, then they will become infected. So it's a really contagious thing. So I could have wool on there, touch a sheep without scab and give it scab. So now we've got to deal with it. We are choosing to go down the plunge dip route, but I don't fancy making them swim around for a minute plunging their heads underwater. They're gonna get stressed out, they're gonna start kicking out lambs. I'm gonna get stressed out. So I found a better way. Enter the legend. Called a guy called Neil Fell. He's from Durham, which is pretty much as far away from me and Kent as you can get. And I spoke to him, I said, look, this is our problem. And he was fantastic. Completely put mind at ease. He said, look, we've got a guy down in the south. He's actually in Devon, which is still a fair way from us. Synergy, he said, oh, he runs one of our lorries. Give him a ring and find out what's going on. They basically have a mobile dip on this lorry. This is it here. It's on a cage system, so the sheep stand in a cage and get lowered into the water. So they haven't got that big cold water shock. They're not freshening around trying to swim. They get run into a cage. They stand there. It gets lowered on a hydraulics, goes down and they go under the water, come back up, jobs are good. And so much less stress, so much less physical exertion for them. This is perfect for our in lamb use. He even come with 4,000 liters of water on there. They come up here. We go up into this cage here and they're put in there and they're lowered down to their heads so they can breathe and then their head, they're lowered down under their head so they go under, back up, stand in it and then they're put onto the, hang on. Then they stand on that draining board, come off the side there and go off. This isn't ideal obviously, dipping this close to lamb in, but for us, we've got a unique opportunity that we've got all our ewes on the farm at one time. They're also, if they, if it does cause them so much stress, which I'm sure it won't, but if it does and they actually lamb early, the lambs will live because they're two weeks off lambing. Also, the dip isn't just for sheep scab, it will kill all the ticks they picked up the in the winter, lice, biting, sucking lice, anything like that, any baddies living in their fleece or on their skin, it will kill. So they will go and do a lot better now that they've been dipped. So there are some benefits as well, as much as I don't want to be having Pregnant you standing up all day, obviously getting put into a cold bath. So you just gotta get in front of these things. Things happen, you play the hand, you get dealt, and that's what we're doing, so. I drove around all across the land, thought that I was caught in a one-man band. But playing all the sad and lonely, sad and lonely songs. My faith was lost, my hope was gone.
Now I know what you're thinking, because I thought the same. I bet this costs a fortune. Not at all. They charge a £190 setup fee. And then they only charge one pound five pence per sheep. And then to take the chemical away, it costs them 200 pound. They don't put anything on. That's just what it costs to get rid of it. So it goes away, you get a certificate back saying the chemical's been disposed of properly. It's going to the one reward company. So God knows where that goes, but we do it right at our end. They do it right at their end. The water companies are a law unto themselves in the UK at the moment. Just look at the amount of sewage being dumped into our rivers. Anywho, so it's £190 plus pound five pence. We're probably dipping, oh, there'll be over 500 sheep today. So realistically, it's going to cost me nearly £2 a head. But that's him coming, doing all the work he's doing. Look at the guy go. Right, he don't stop. And he's disposing of the chemical and it's done properly. It's an extra grand that I didn't want to spend. I really want to go and lay on a beach this summer. These little things don't help, do they? Here she comes from Deliveroo. Here's me moaning about never having any money. Got a Starbucks coffee. Bloody millennials. Sam left his house this morning at four o'clock to get here for eight. He turned up at half seven. My kind of guy. Anyway, I said, I'll, tell you, I'll get you a coffee. I'll tell you what, I'll treat you to a good coffee. I think I was him. I bet he's never been fed to Starbucks on a farm before. Is that the first Starbucks you've ever had at a farm? First breakfast. First breakfast, yeah, we got him breakfast or two. We do treat him. I've got a decaf. That's a good coffee. Had this Soe for five years. She didn't have any teeth then either. She's still going in pup again. Relentlessly want to live, they do. Today is like a weight being lifted off my shoulders. If for anyone that's had scab and doesn't have the means to get rid of it and it, they're this close to lambing, you've all seen how much work we put into getting these used to this point just about to lamb. To have them dipped and know that everything's good. Whoo! Sleep better tonight. Right, all packed away like it never even happened. We're just gonna see if Sam's stuck. Ooh, which he might be. Go on, Sam. Imagine how awkward it is trying to back that out of there and then a guy like me just filming it. All good. Good job, Sam's a good sport, isn't it? Sun shining in his eyes and everything. Whoa! Oh, that's tight, my friend. I've got that on camera. That was impressive. That was very impressive. <laughs> it's some man, I'm telling you. Bye, Sam. Thanks for being a legend. Due to be very cold again tonight, so I'm just gonna leave them having the run of the farm because they can tuck up behind the trees, get out of the way of the wind a bit. I really hope you enjoyed that YouTube. Saying a little bit different, I cannot recommend Neil Fell enough. Just from the moment I rang him up, because obviously I was panicking a bit, we was really close to lambing. Completely put me at ease. It was just really nice to speak to like someone that could just be like, right, yeah, this we can do this for you. We can come in, we'll get it done. Booked a date, turned up when they said, spot on, what more can you ask? Job well done. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give us a little thumbs up. You know it works. Invite your mates, all that sort of malarkey. Till next time.